Cause every day we used to ride together Ty, you got me wishing that we died together Cause now I'm just stuck with these memories Loading up this chopper, guzzling this Hennessy Spinning all these blocks, trying to find the enemy People say I need God, it's too much sending me On November 9, 2017, a grand jury sitting in the Eastern District of New York returned a 12-count superseding indictment charging defendants Tasheen Cooper, also known as Biltz, Michael Libbard, also known as Mike Mike and Mitty, and Maurice Washington, also known as Mo and Flaco, with various crimes. Cooper, Michael Libbard, Sherrod Libbard and Washington were members of the West End Enterprise, a street gang composed of individuals residing in and around three specific apartment complexes located in the western end of the Coney Island neighborhood of Brooklyn. The Sea Rise Apartments, the Gravesend Houses and Surfside Gardens, also known as the Mermaid Houses. As alleged in the superseding indictment, members of the enterprise were an association in fact, they associated together for the purpose of engaging in various crimes, including murder and murder conspiracy, narcotics trafficking, extortion, robbery, obstruction of justice and witness tampering. Each of the defendants was a member of the enterprise, which functioned as a continuing unit for the common purpose of achieving the objectives of the enterprise. Members of the street family made money together, sell drugs together, protected each other, and take care of each other by providing funds for family members who were broke or incarcerated. Additionally, that group was protective of its territory, using violence against rivals who attempted to possess or repossess certain neighborhood spots. Mike Mike was more of an OG he was a member of another Coney Island-based enterprise called Rival Impact from the 1990s into 2011. It was through rival impact that he learned a street code of violence, retaliation and the means and methods by which he would commit this litany of crimes. In approximately 2011, members of rival impact joined together with a younger generation to form the association in fact charged in the superseding indictment. Besides rival impact, they identified with names like the Mermaid Boys and the 33rd Street Crew. Mike Mike and other older generation Enterprise members passed along their lessons in criminality and the violent, retaliatory street code by which they had learned to live. On April 22, 2006, Mike Mike was convicted of criminal sale of a controlled substance and sentenced to five years of probation, which he violated and was thereafter resentenced to six months in jail. On April 26, 2010, Mike Mike pled guilty to assault and was sentenced to one year in jail. That conviction stemmed from a March 29, 2009 incident involving him and two others punching and kicking a victim, causing serious physical injury that left the victim unconscious and that required the victim's admission to a rehabilitation facility after the victim sustained memory loss and loss of physical mobility. He also had a history of domestic violence. Multiple women reported that Mike Mike threatened to hurt or kill them and or their children, and at least one woman reported that the defendant physically assaulted her on multiple occasions. In one incident, a woman reported that Mike Mike punched and slapped her and threatened to break her jaw and kill her. A woman reported that he threatened to kill her son, slice her face, and break her jaw. In addition, he extered kickbacks of wages from individuals working to repair damage to New York City Housing Authority buildings in Coney Island. Through threats of violence and or damage and disruption to the construction sites, the Mike Mike and others forced the contractor making the repairs to hire individuals elected by him and his associates to work on its projects. Also, he required that the individuals he placed in those construction jobs pay him a portion of their salaries in exchange for employment on the construction site. He explicitly threatened physical harm, both in person and via text message, and used intimidation to collect the salary kickbacks. For example, in one text message to a worker, Mike Mike wrote, This is crazy, just have my money today or it's gonna be a problem. If you did what you want this time, keep it because I'm gonna hurt you. The main rivals of Rival Impact and the West Side Enterprise were the crew that identified itself as the 30 Crew, based in the Coney Island houses. While Rival Impact associated with the Gorilla Stone set of the Bloods, their beef was intense with a rival gang set called Sex Money Murder. Victor Carmona, aka V, was one of the more dangerous and active members within the Rival Impact gang. 
The relationship between Mike Mike and V was very close, with them providing muscle and causing the rival gangs to acknowledge their rootlessness. His rap sheet, 22 arrests, including robbery, drug possession, and larceny. On July 25, 2010, two-year-old Jaylene was riding her bike in front of her home when she was hit by a slug. V and Devon, who was 17, fired shots at a third man in revenge for an earlier mugging in front of a deli. Jaylene didn't survive the shooting that took place that day in front of the O'Dwyer Gardens houses. Witnesses who dove for cover said they heard at least eight shots. V was released five days later on bail after this incident. On August 7, 2010, V was shot and killed in Coney Island. It started on the 30 block, where he was shot about three times, once in the neck and twice in the chest around 3.15 p.m. He was running back toward the hood and made it to 32nd before collapsing into the arms of fellow gang members, Murph and Frank, aka Fresh. Mike Mike learned of V's death while incarcerated on Rikers Island and immediately began planning with his criminal associates over recorded telephone lines to take revenge by killing the individuals that he believed were responsible for V's murder, Turin Serrano and Rashawn Washington, as well as killing Serrano's mother. He vowed he would get back and was very heartbroken while in jail, as he was very close to V. He felt like if he wasn't locked up, it wouldn't have happened. He told Naibu, aka Chi Chi, to get a gun from Maurice, aka Mo and Shamik Miller, aka Tata. Mike Mike knew that Mo had a 357 and told Chi Chi to make sure he didn't let Mo talk him out of anything. Mike Mike also stated that if Chi Chi didn't retaliate, it would be war on him as well. Fresh also spoke to Mike Mike during the same conversation or another and explained that the people involved in V's murder were all going to be gone, meaning six feet deep. Fresh was a member ultimately rising to become one of the leaders of the rival Impact Street Gang. He was also the cousin of Mike Mike. For more than a decade, Fresh and other members of rival Impact distributed heroin, crack and other narcotics in Brooklyn and several other states. Mike Mike called to a mail a week after the murder of V. He was angry that the gang didn't retaliate yet. He expressed how members said the block was hot, meaning full of police activity, but he didn't care. He felt that members should just go to the op side and go crazy, instead of drinking, smoking and getting memorial tattoos. He talked about how he used to scare the ops and have them running back in their buildings, how him and V would have had things on smash if he was home. On October 4, 2010, at approximately 3.30 am, police investigated the scene of a double homicide outside Flatiron's Club Rome. Two young men believed to be witnesses to two murders were executed in a parked SUV after a night of partying in Manhattan. Rashawn Washington, 26, and Terrence Arano, 22, both of Coney Island, were each shot in the head moments after leaving the East 19th Street hotspot Rome. Both were known gang bangers who were involved in many things. Security camera footage showed a dark sedan pull up behind the victim's silver SUV. Two men hopped out of the sedan and approached the SUV before disappearing from view. Seconds later, they were seen running back and zooming away. Hours before his death, Serrano had posted on Twitter about the possibility of dying young. Washington had 11 arrests on his record, including busts for gun possession. Investigators believed he was on the scene during a daylight gun battle that led to the stray bullet killing of Anna Sermon, 87, in August 2009. The Coney Island grandmother was walking in the flower-filled courtyard of the Surfside houses when she was struck in the neck. Her killer, at large, and investigators believed Washington knew where the shot came from, but he wouldn't tell them. Serrano had seven prior callers, including arrests for gun possession and robbery, police sources said. He was targeted in a July 2009 shooting on Surf Avenue. The bullet hit his brother, Mikuan Serrano, 19, in the face, killing him. Serrano also was of no help to investigators, who are still trying to track down his brother's killer. Fresh and Chi Chi, on orders from Mike Mike and their own love for V, allegedly committed this murder. In December 2012, another associate of rival Impact was killed. Mike Mike again engaged in murder conspiracy, plotting retaliation with an enterprise leader, Shamik Miller, aka Ta. On recorded jail calls, the Ta and Mike Mike expressed outrage that other enterprise members knew who did it and they just standing there regular, while there was a bullet in the deceased's head. This prompted Ta Ta to indicate he was going to call the Enterprise members and mobilize them to act in retaliation. Ta Ta looked to Mike Mike as a mentor from whom to seek advice on whether retaliation was appropriate. 
In fact, following these calls, Enterprise members shot at the rivals and associates of the rivals who the Enterprise believed to be responsible for the homicide. On January 16, 2016, Tata was killed from a headshot during an attempted robbery that he committed with Antoine Flowers in East New York, Brooklyn. Tata was a high-ranking member of the Gorilla Stone Bloods and also rapped the Dirty Cash Gang. He had 32 prior arrests and served 14 months in an upstate prison for two attempted robbery charges. Security cameras captured him entering an apartment building at 3.15 a.m. while holding a gun. Minutes later, he stumbled out of the building, still clutching the weapon and collapsed on the sidewalk. Police later followed his blood trail back to a second-floor apartment where they discovered a large cache of marijuana. Flowers left the scene of the robbery without coming to aid, in violation of Enterprise rules. On January 17, Mike Mike informed Flowers that he was on his way to the block. Flowers expressed concern to his then-girlfriend that he did not know if the Mike Mike and other Enterprise members were salty about what had happened the previous night with Tata. Over his girlfriend's protestations, Flowers went to Coney Island to meet Mike Mike and other Enterprise members at their urging. Flowers had brutally stabbed two women before taking his five-year-old son hostage for more than six hours during a drug-induced blackout back in 2013. Antoine Flowers, 35. Flowers could have faced up to 75 years in state prison if he was convicted. He told the court he was under the influence of fencyclidine, or PCP, marijuana and alcohol the morning of the incident. At this point in the timeline, he was out on the streets. But back to the story. Mike Mike, Mo, and Tai Sheen, aka Biltz, confronted Flowers at a trap house, an apartment located inside of 2839 West 33rd Street. This building is located in the Mermaid Houses complex, where Enterprise members often gathered and stored guns, among other things. Throughout the night, Flowers texted with his girlfriend intermittently to reassure her that he remained okay, in response to her pleas that he stay safe. After nightfall, and following their confrontation of Flowers in the trap house, at approximately 9.15 p.m., Mike Mike, Mo, and Biltz marched Flowers out of the back of the Mermaid Houses. Surveillance video footage, corroborated by witness testimony, shows Mike Mike walking behind Flowers in close proximity, then raising his arms to fire a shot at point-blank range to the back of Flowers' head. Flowers was pronounced dead on the scene. They all fled the scene in a getaway car. A year later, Biltz recorded a tribute rap to Miller on YouTube. Every day we used to ride together. Ta, you got me wishing that we died together. I give him pain I put it all in my raps, the pressure had me suicidal with this gun in my lap. But wait, I got a daughter man I couldn't do that, but wait, I am much stronger man I shouldn't do that. As far as these guys, this pretty much wraps up the story so far. In September 2021, Fresh was sentenced to two mandatory life sentences, plus an additional 20 years for the double murder of Turin Serrano and Rashawn Washington. Mo was sentenced to 25 years for his drug dealing and connection to the Antwin Flowers murder. As for Mike Mike, he received 35 years for his drug dealing and acts of violence. This ends our story. As always, stay low, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and most of all, subscribe.